Kitronic. First, we install the O-ring. We check the O-rings of the connection points on the cover and match them with the points on the body of the mechatronics and fit the cover. We connect the cover to the body of the mechatronics. We first remove the gap between the connections so that they are diagonal, and then we compress them diagonally. We connect the connected mechatronics to the specially designed stand from the connection point. We turn our lock to the unlocked position and turn it to our 90 degree position. We close the lock. We install pistons K1 and K2. After removing the oil plug cover, we pour the oil into the mechatronics, tighten the plug and close the cover. We are assembling the side apparatus. We connect the cable to the test device and turn the button on the back to the on position. To start testing the mechatronics, we enter the application installed with the help of the tablet. In the application, we select the Bluetooth option by clicking on the plus in the upper right corner. We make the connection by selecting the Katronic connection again from the connection window that appears. We choose English or Turkish language. After the connection is completed, we reach the test interface. To start the pump manually, we press the pump start button. For manual control of the gears, we press the M1, M2, M3, M4, M5, M6, 7 keys on the interface. We carry out valve checks from the side. In case of malfunction, the blue areas light up red. After pressing the auto button, in the number of repetitions field in the window that opens, we write the desired number of repetitions on the panel and press start. At the top, we can see the remaining and total numbers tested, and we can also see graphically how it works between the highest pressure and the lowest pressure. As a result of the test, it is seen how many times the lowest pressure was seen, how many seconds it took to fill the pressure from 42 bars to 60 bars, how many seconds it took to go from 0 to 60 bars, and how many times the pump operated during the test. In case of a malfunction, the reason for the malfunction is shown in the red table on the screen. In the pressure test section, we can control our valves. We start the test from the test button. We can check the pressure from 0 to 60 bar, and how long it takes to discharge from 60 bar to 40 bar when our pressure control valves are open. If the pressure drops rapidly while our pressure control valves are open, we can understand that the pressure control valves are not working very well. Our time continues to count when the pressure control valves are closed. Our bar is 48. With the pressure control valves open, it emptied in 1 minute and 42 seconds. From this situation, we can understand that there is no systemic leakage, but it is leaking due to our valves. We plug our cable into the test device for valve cleaning. We attach the solenoid valve to the other part of our cable and put it into the cleaning liquid. Then, we press the valve cleaning button on the tablet. In this way, we ensure the cleaning of the solenoid valve. Then, we press the pressure reset button and end the test process. Kitronic